there and welcome to another Barb Stamps video. Today I want to show you how to uh, use this little pinwheel die that is shown in the spring catalog and it's on page 33. It's a cute little sizzlet, little die here. This is how your paper will come out of the die when you run it through the machine. And I've used the Sunshine and Sprinkles designer series paper for this little pinwheel. There are a lot of super cute patterns in this paper so be sure to add it to your next order. The first thing I do when I get this die out of the machine is I want to make sure that all these little holes are poked out. So I just take my piercing tool and I just go around and I just poke out these little holes. Okay, get that last one and then there's one here in the center so there's five that you'll poke out. Then I'm going to use my bone folder and what I'm going to do with that is where I have the little holes I'm just going to take my bone folder and I'm going to curl the paper on that flap with the hole. Do be careful when you get to the tip though because you can tear that tip right off with your bone folder. Okay, so we're going to go around. We're going to do all four of these little flaps. Get it nice and curled up. Okay, so this is what we end up having. Cute little folded thing. And now what I like to do is I like to use a couple of mini glue dots. And so here's my mini glue dot roll. And I'm just going to pull one of these glue dots off with my piercing tool. And I'm going to place it just next to the hole in the center. And I'm going to do that twice with two glue dots. All right, so one on each side of the hole. Then I'm going to keep my piercing tool in my hand and I'm going to stick it in the little hole that was created with the die and I'm going to bring it over to the hole that's in the center so I'm going to poke my piercing tool through that hole as well and then I'm just going to press it into the glue dot. And the reason I didn't put the glue dots over the hole is because I want to be able to push my brad through and it's going to be a little bit easier if I don't have glue to force through there. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to take this um, little flap that's opposite of the first one, put my piercing tool in it, go ahead and place that in the same little hole Oops. And then I'm going to press it into the glue dot also. I'm going to take a little mini silver brad, and we sell these in the catalog. There are a lot of these little guys in this container. Let's see how many. There's 200 of them in here. I believe it's 550. So that I'm going to take my little silver brad and I'm going to put it in that little hole there. I'm going to pull this one across from it over, put it in the little hole. And then I'm going to find the hole in the bottom here also. And now I need bifocals, so I'm going to pull this over to my vision here so I can actually see where the hole is. Okay, got it. Sorry about that. When you're doing it at home, you'll be able to see a lot better than me, I'm sure. So I've got my brad through all four layers. And I'm just going to then pull the prongs open and press it. And there we have it. Super cute little pinwheel. Pretty simple to make. 